professional. You know what? It'll only take a few ads like this for me to say to myself, if they can make millions of dollars with foreclosures, I can too. So I started focus, f focusing on short sales. But what I found out is this short sale thing was hard work. And it definitely was not working like all the real estate gurus said it would. I started thinking to myself, could all those fancy TV real estate gurus be wrong? And I, could, I just could not accept that they could be wrong. Because here I was, Mr. Real Estate, and I just spent tens of thousands of dollars on short sale seminars, courses, and books. That is when I found out it can take up to a year to complete just one short sale deal. And that's if all the planets are in line. I figured this out because I broke down the steps to completing just one short sale deal into five major steps. And here's what I found. But that was hard because there are about a gazillion steps to each of the five steps. Step one, you must find the people. Not only that, you must find the right people with the type of house that you can make money on. This takes time, money, and expertise. You must get really good at finding these people. And if you don't learn how to do this, guess what? Everything else is secondary. Step two, they must respond to you and not a competitor. There's a lot of people who bought those courses or are doing the same thing, and they gotta pick you out. You must be the one, the one they trust out and above all the other short sale investors who went to some seminar or bought a foreclosure course. And if you fail here, you don't make any money. Step three, the ball is in their court. They must be down with working with you. They must work with you for the long run and not just bail. Any day they can just bail out if something happens. And all you have is the limited ability to work on as many deals as humanly possible just to increase the odds of finding the one. Step four, the bank, lender, creditors, and other lien holders must work with, work with you for the duration of the short sale process. And these people are less than thrilled that they'll be losing money on their own bad deals with the homeowner. Step five, distressed homeowners are emotionally frozen. They're very unpredictable. They might may file bankruptcy at any time or just turn the keys in and split. Plus, you must successfully complete each of these five major steps to just close one short sale deal. So how would you like to deal with one seller who is highly motivated and will let you buy one property or 100 properties in bulk at deep, deep, deep quantity discounts? Buy one or 100. But first, let's talk about the current market opportunities. In May 2010, in Realty Track, said one in every 399 household units went into foreclosure. There were 322,000 some odd new foreclosures filed in May 2010. In California alone, 72,000 foreclosures. And right now, there's been 2 million, 2 million foreclosed homes nationwide in this current crisis. This is a, a good point. Out of that 322,000, only 44,000 foreclosure sales in May 2010. What does that all mean? By these numbers, 278,000 bank-owned properties remain unsold. That means the banks take back almost 300,000 that are added to the bank's inventory of REO properties each month. Now, once the bank takes it back, it's no longer a short sale deal. I want to get you to get that straight. How to do it right. What if you could have bulk REO sellers contacting you? Buyers wanting to pay you to find them deals. How would you like to broker seven figure bulk REO deals and do all this with little or none of your own money and then repeat it over and over again? Now, the reason why you should buy after the lender forecloses instead of at short sale or auction. The number one reason is all the liens get wiped off the title. 
you get the building, the house free and clear. You don't have to deal with any of the second lien holders. You don't have to make deals. You don't have to get these these liens and judgments satisfied because they're all wiped off you're dealing with clean title. All the back taxes are, taxes are paid. This is something that the, has to be done for a short sale to be completed. And those gurus don't tell you this. Now someone's got to pay that. You got to make up back payments a lot of times. Who's going to make that up if it's not you? Okay, you get the property with clean title. You can get it vacant or with a paying tenant. A lot of the banks are starting to put tenants and rent out these properties to make a little extra cash flow or to keep them from going vacant and having vandals come in. So you can get properties that are either free and clear or free with nobody in it or with a really good paying tenant in there. And this is a really good secret here. The sweet spot is to buy before the property gets put into retail REO listings. What happens when a bank takes a property back an REO property is just like any of us when we go buy a piece of property we got to go in and we got to change the locks if it's messed up if we're uh, investors we know we got to clean the place up maybe do some renovation on it we got to put the utilities in our name we got to get pay the taxes set get taxes set up you know we we've got to take over the property and start spending money on it so if you can buy the property from these banks right before they have to spend a chunk of change on it you can get a very very good deal and they must sell that's something to keep in mind also whenever you hear foreclosure from now on I want you to think of real estate owned foreclosure equals bank owned real estate property because that is where the opportunity is and with hundreds of thousands of distressed properties that are added to the bank's books each month with the banks taking back all these properties why would you ever want to waste time with short sales you want to learn how to do this right and have dozens of these REO sellers calling you each week dying for you to take their jumbo pile of bank owned properties off their hands and do this with little or no money down and repeat it over and over again I thought you would say yes yes I want to learn how to profit from bulk REOs cool because I put together another video I didn't have time to do it now and I'm gonna have it up in a few days so I'm gonna go over that and I'm gonna go over the exact way you can create nine hundred ninety seven thousand dollars in equity literally overnight in one deal thanks I hope I see you on the next video